Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to today's in-depth video where we'll be exploring the fascinating world of low-pass filters, with a particular focus on the RC low-pass filter. In this comprehensive tutorial, we'll examine the circuitry, delve into its behavior, and observe the effects it has on input signals using a circuit simulator. So let's dive right in. An RC, resistor capacitor, low-pass filter is a type of electronic filter that allows low-frequency signals to pass through while attenuating higher-frequency signals. It consists of a resistor, R, and a capacitor, C, connected in series or in a voltage divider configuration. The RC low-pass filter works based on the principle of charging and discharging the capacitor. At low frequencies, the capacitor charges and holds the charge, allowing the signal to pass through. However, at high frequencies, the capacitor cannot charge and discharge quickly enough, causing the voltage across the capacitor to drop, thereby attenuating the higher frequency components of the signal. The cutoff frequency, FC, of an RC low-pass filter is the frequency at which the output signal amplitude drops to approximately 70.7%, 1 by under root 2, of the input signal amplitude. The cutoff frequency is determined by the values of the resistor and capacitor and can be calculated using the formula. FC equals 1 by 2 pi RC. Where? FC is the cutoff frequency in hertz. R is the resistance in ohms. C is the capacitance in farads. Pi is a mathematical constant approximately equal to 3.14159. By choosing appropriate values for R and C, you can adjust the cutoff frequency of the filter to suit your specific requirements. Lower resistance or higher capacitance values will result in a lower cutoff frequency, allowing lower frequency signals to pass through. It's worth noting that RC low-pass filters have a roll-off characteristic, meaning that the attenuation of higher frequencies gradually increases beyond the cutoff frequency. The rate at which the attenuation increases is determined by the order of the filter. A first-order RC filter has a slope of minus 20 dB per decade, 6 dB per octave, meaning that, for every tenfold increase in frequency beyond the cutoff, the signal amplitude is reduced by 20 dB. Higher-order filters can provide steeper roll-off characteristics. Displayed on your screen is a circuit simulator running in real-time enabling us to visualize the behavior of the RC low-pass filter. The circuit itself consists of a resistor and a capacitor connected in series. Specifically, we have a 187-ohm resistor and a 10-microfarad capacitor. When combined, these components form the RC low-pass filter, which we will be analyzing today. Now, let's explore the sweep settings of our circuit simulator which will allow us to observe the filter's response across different frequencies. We have chosen a logarithmic sweep, ranging from a minimum frequency of 20 Hz to a maximum frequency of 1 kHz. This frequency range provides a comprehensive overview of the filter's behavior. Additionally, we have set the sweep time to 100 milliseconds, ensuring we can accurately capture and analyze the filter's output. Finally, the maximum voltage has been set to 5 volts, which will assist us in evaluating the amplitude of the input and output signals. As we progress, you will notice two distinct signals displayed on the scope. The first signal represents the input waveform, which is the original signal being fed into our RC low-pass filter. This waveform showcases the various frequency components present in the input signal. The second signal displayed is the output waveform, demonstrating the filtered signal after passing through the RC low-pass filter. It allows us to observe how the filter affects different frequency components. As we initiate the sweep and vary the frequency from 20 Hz to 1 kHz, we can carefully observe how the RC low-pass filter operates. One of its primary functions is to attenuate or decrease the amplitude of higher frequencies while permitting lower frequencies to pass through relatively unaltered. This behavior is achieved through the time constant of the RC circuit, where the capacitor charges and discharges, influencing the output signal. By adjusting the values of the resistor and capacitor in the circuit, we can manipulate the cutoff frequency of the low-pass filter. The cutoff frequency represents the point at which the filter begins to attenuate higher frequencies. This flexibility allows us to customize the filter's response to suit specific application requirements. 
whether it's audio signal processing, data transmission, or countless other applications, low-pass filters are an essential tool in the world of electronics. In conclusion, the RC low-pass filter is a fundamental circuit that selectively allows lower-frequency components to pass while diminishing the presence of higher-frequency components. Its ability to shape and control signal frequencies finds broad application in a variety of fields. Throughout this video, we've explored the circuit, observed its behavior through a circuit simulator, and discussed the underlying principles. We hope this comprehensive tutorial has provided you with a clear understanding of the RC low-pass filter and its impact on input signals. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to your continued exploration of electronics. Stay curious and keep innovating!